now, the Toyota Sports Desk, brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Yeah, seven is on your side tonight as we count down to Nats opening day. The big day is on Thursday. 5,000 fans will be allowed inside Nats Park to watch this game in person. But as our Olivia Garvey explains, some Nats fans, frankly, don't think it's enough. Fans may be back in the stands at Nats Park this season, but not everyone is happy. Well, I'm not happy with the limitations. Uh, there, there, there are far too few. 5,000 fans um, it feels like a very arbitrary number. And with seating limited, season ticket holders get first crack at seats, but even they aren't guaranteed a seat. Priority is given to Nats Plus members, which is based on a 10-year and ticket package size. What I would do is I would have... Uh, created a map of all of the seats in pods that were separated uh, and made that the number. You could try your luck with an online ticket site, but be prepared to pony up some serious dough. Some of those season ticket holders are selling their opening day seats for hundreds, even thousands of dollars. I feel very bad for a lot of the kids and families that will not get a chance to go in April. Ballparks all around the country are experiencing low capacity numbers due to COVID-19 restrictions. But the hope is that COVID numbers decline, stadium capacities will increase. The frustration many of us have is not directed towards the Nats, it is directed towards the city. I would say to the Nats, let's make sure, you know, we do everything and dot our I's and cross our T's, you know, do everything we can to make this as successful as possible. Olivia Garvey, ABC 7 Sports. Now, just a short time ago, I actually went on a couple of third party ticket brokering sites, and the cheapest ticket that I found to attend Nats opening day was on StubHub $375. Now, the most expensive ticket? $1,500 club-level seats to watch the Nats take on the New York Mets. So, Jonathan, uh, time to open up that wallet if you want to attend Nats opening day.